Hello! The video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Happy Wednesday! Happy Wednesday! So, um, today we're going to do a changing. Um, Mr. B's not changing. Um, but I'm changing. Who have you got, Mr. I've B? got Darlene today. You've got little Darlene Amy. I know. I and chose her and we were able to get her right here straight away. Mm -hmm. It's just so amazing just to be able to say, who do you want, Mr. B? Mm. And I can just get whoever he wants That's right That's right. Out. And she is wearing, and I forget what colour her top is, Rhea. It's a very, very light pink. So she's wearing a light pink top, and I think they're, are they white pants or pink pants? Pink pants. Okay, they were pink pants with darker pink raspberries on them. And little, I think she's got white socks, if I remember rightly. White mm -hmm. socks. So she's very, very precious. No, that doesn't mean, darling, you can blow a raspberry. <laughs> no, it doesn't mean that. <laughs> now, Brooke is wearing this gorgeous outfit from Bowden, which she's been in for weeks, but it's time for a change. This is a bubble romper and it has a, a bubble romper for anyone who doesn't know what a bubble romper is is a romper which i'm just going to take the she's got a cardigan off on over this it's like a deep orangey pinky the color's called melon and i'm just going to take it off so that you can see it better i'm going to take it off anyway because we need to take it off there we go um so basically this is a, a romper that has no legs and straps over the shoulders and it ha it's, it's, has a yoke, a gathered yoke across the chest and then it, it fluffs out into a great loose bubble of material all around her, like a puffball. Um, it's just r really pretty um, and it's very nostalgic. It's very much the kind of thing I might have worn when I was little. It's, it has a very vintage look about the bubble mm. romper. And I've seen a lot. Can you put your head up, darling, so we can see your pretty face? Um, I've seen a lot of these this year. So... Um, she's also got white shoes which I'm just going to remove because I will need to do things actually I might not need to take them off I might not need to take them off I'll leave them be um, so I've seen a lot of bubble rompers this year I'm going to put her into the new dress which I bought her, which you will see in a moment or two um, but this is, should be a fairly straightforward change because I don't anticipate too many problems she says. That's famous last words, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just going to get the pillow out of the way so I've got more room to change you. And she's got white tights on, if I remember rightly, under these, under the romper, which will look nice with this outfit. She's another little another little plump girl i love my little chunks i really do i adore my little chunks just try and... ah! get your feet out of the microphone wire please <laughs> there we are what a good girl let's just get that the the rum romper is it has a beautiful pattern all over it of like fruit and flowers and like bluebells and poppies and flowers and fruit and the odd chick or two it's just gorgeous um brooke is also just she's so pretty she's got the happiest smiliest face again describing her for anyone who doesn't see her and beautiful it's almost like sandy blonde hair, isn't it, Rhea? Mm -hmm. She's got sandy blonde hair. And gold-flecked blue eyes, which are just amazingly amazing. Okay, so she's just in her little white tee, um, which she always wears. Um, looks nice under everything, and her, her <coughs> tights. So I'm going to put her into this dress, which is pink. And it is, I, I bought it for her. You saw it on Saturday's haul. It's just net lace over cotton. And it has beautiful embroidery on the skirt. It has capped, short cap sleeves. It's just so pretty. I'm just going to unbutton it. Uh, these, all my clothes this week have been nutmeg. Except that outfit that I just, that just came off that was Bowden. Um, 
I think Darlene. I don't know where that came from because it came with the Twinkies. Hmm. Um. So. There we are. Can I just give you that? So just to fill in the gap. Yeah, please. Uh, just to, to remind people that in a couple of weeks we will be going to Fetch Lake. On May the tenth. That's that right. Will be. Yes. We will be going to Fetch Lake. So we ought to be able to show her on the eleventh then. Yes. It should be pretty amazing, actually. We've decided not to video her actual moment of birth because that's a very private thing. It's different. We'll record it. So there will be a recording on our website, which we'll give you the address to if you want to hear the audio. Um, but the actual moment of birth is a very sort of very private thing in a way although we always record it for the memory and i just didn't feel comfortable with having a video camera recording me crying my eyes out which is what usually happens <laughs> and um, <clears throat> you know just those first few moments you know normally with a box opening it's different but with the baby that you've waited a year for nine months for and that's sort of really, really a bit sort of extra special that you're actually going down to collect. I just, I just wanted to have that that time. But we'll get some pictures as quickly as possible. We will get possible. pictures. We will get pictures. We won't, mustn't forget to get pictures. Um, and we will, um, we will have her on the channel the next day so you can see her. Yes, so it won't be long. It's, the timing's worked out quite well. Yes, it has indeed. So you will get to see her. It's just that you actually won't get to see her born. You will get to hear it though if you want to. So there is Madam. Oh, she's ready. I've just nearly. I'm just putting her dress on her. I'm just going to straighten it now because it's got all rugged up. You're so beautiful. Do you know that? You're too beautiful to be legal. She has this tendency to really lean forward and it's, she's got a floppy forward head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that rear. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely adorable. But then again, she is my favourite. <laughs> yeah, Brooke's your favourite. I'd forgotten that. That's right. Yeah. Just pulling this into place. There we go. I'm just going to get the pillow. Ugh. Come on, Brookie Bear. Let's have you. So, I'm just going to give her a smooth. Now, I haven't got, as I said, I don't have my comb and my water bottle handy, but I'm going to just put a little hairband on her. I keep all the hair accessories in here. So, I think this one is going to be perfect. This came with her. Actually, she was wearing this the day she was born. Oh. And this is a, it's pink, isn't it? Yeah. This is a pink headband. It's wide. It goes right round her head, um, and it's made of like rows of zigzaggy stuff. And it's very elastic. And then on the side of it, there is a big flower, a silk, big silk flower. And in the middle is a big sparkly blingy stone, really big, very diva, very brook, and it really keeps the hair nice if I can get it on where I want it first time. If I have to take it off, then it fluffs. But I'm hoping I won't have to. Ah, look at that. It's gone on perfectly. It's gone on perfectly. Yes! Just about. Just about. I just want to smooth that down just a touch. How's that? Beautiful. Mm. I bet that looks amazing on her. Right, so there she is, Daddy. Do you want to see? Yes. Should we swap babies? Should we swap? All right then. Yeah, give me darling. Okay. Be careful. Um. Come here, my treasure. I've got her. Take her. Right. Are you you lean over and pick up Rocky. Okay. 
There we go. Just make sure we don't ruck her all up. Oh, so she's she's good. Yeah. Let's put her on the cushion so we can see. Oh, she's so tiny. How's that, Ray? Can you see her? She's so dirty. I yeah. know. <laughs> Do you need me to pull her up on my shoulder? Is that better? Right. Let's pull her up on my shoulder. These socks are falling off your legs. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. There we go. She's so tiny, aren't you? She's so tiny. After Brooke, she's like lion and a mouse. <laughs> um, Brooke, I should say, is the cookie sculpt by um, Donna Rupert. And then we have the Chris sculpt by Britt Klinger. So that's who we have today. So there they are. That is little Darlene and Brooke. And tomorrow, I think we're going to feed them. So we will see you tomorrow. And in the meantime, we're going to love you and leave you, aren't we? We are. We definitely are. So uh, we'll see <laughs> you, you tomorrow. What do you think to your girl? She's lovely, isn't she? <laughs> really, really Can good. you see her that angle, Rhea? Mm -hmm. Does she need to turn around? Is, he, is she okay? I think She's we're all right. Okay. Because we're going now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want to sit him with the back to the camera. <laughs> okay, so we'll see you tomorrow. Yes. We'll love you and leave you. Take care of yourselves and enjoy your babies. And let's, let's be, be good, good to, to each, each other. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.